Welcome back class, I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And we have found another notice board. Oh no, the swindler's back. Looking for Triss Marigold. Taking that notice down. Do not fondle the merchandise. Fondle the goods must be purchased by the fondler. That's a fair notice. Don't care. Okay, 700% annual interest rate, not bad. Alright, what's the contract here? Alright, new contracts. Oh, and there's this one as well. I probably won't do any of these, but... <laughs> you never know, right? You never know. Strumpets, how are you doing? Alright, I am looking for you, madam. Where are you hiding? Downstairs or up? I'm gonna assume upstairs. Yep, yeah, I was correct. 50 50 chance. I totally took the right one. <laughs> Take that, small business owners. Anything else? Yes, there is. But wait, there's more. Boop. There you are. Hello. Your uh, room is kind of smoky. Let's turn on a few more candles here. No, it's on. Turn the candles on. There we go. Oh, and there's something to take here as well. What do these people think? As you know, I'm just coming into their place and stealing all their stuff. Is that... Taoist symbol? Alright, well... Anyway, once I've gotten through your bucket here, now we can talk. A dream in here. Okay, that's Never fine. Witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. I don't have a heart. I'm a witcher. Nah. <laughs> your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others. Okay. Obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. And you have that skill, I'm hoping? Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Mm. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. <laughs> Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Sure. 
Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. What? Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. What is the law the of surprise? The wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. We have the same Would hair. Would be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. I don't know if we do. These episodes are only about half an hour. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. Aww. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, I've got one more. I have more to say. Then please do. This one's a big one. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had Nilfgaard. just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. Because people suck. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. Not enough Axie. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? God, fine. Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why. She, she went with this man in a box. Travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? I wish for your hair to stay in one place. Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No, nah, that's no. Good. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. I don't have emotions. No. And try to relax. I'm so manly. And talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me. I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot.
what you're knitting. Gonna sink your hands into your chest there, girl. It looks uncomfortable. Hey, dandelion! Looking fine. Well, that is her symbol. the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. Mm -hmm. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Why? That's a terrible decision. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? It's a brothel. The city, through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. We saw a sign for it, Carol. lion inherited a brothel. So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. I hope so too. Is this room locked? No. All right. Oh! here. Broken flowers. Well, I just want to make sure that, you know, everything is in my inventory rather than anywhere else that it should be. Because if it's not in my inventory, then what's the point of it existing, right? But not all this is particularly useful to me. I mean, some of it is to an extent, but, you know, a lot of it isn't. I'm just taking it because I'm a bad person. I'm a witcher. Hmm. Alright, and what's up here? I am seeing some more loot. Let's turn that off, you know. All right, good stuff. Next up, then, the Rosemary and Thyme. We'll try and stop by the Parsley and Sage first, but uh, I can't guarantee that they'll accept ah, what we have to say. That doesn't sound healthy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Not for a voyage through those waters. Bards are hanging out, barding, doing their bard stuff. I believe I see a challenger living with who seeks to support you, Isle Driver. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. All right. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt of Rivia. The challenge. Will you face our tavern's champion? Sure. I'm going all in. Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georgius George. Georgius George? Our champion prepares. You and I should have a chat. Uh -huh. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Nah. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. I probably will. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt, 
versus George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. It's a big man. All right, let's see here. Fuck, he covered. Come out here. That's it, you're in for it. Hmm. This guy's tough. Hmm. Interesting. That guy's pretty tough. I trust you'll remember this lesson for the rest of your life. You stood to Yeah, shut up. Good fight. Let's fight again. Welcome back. Yeah, I'll fight. You're a t what? Yeah, yeah, the let's go. The rules are childishly simple. Defeat George, you get a bulging... My nose. controller's turned off Anything again. else I should know? <laughs> controller! Put on a good show, and the crowd will love you. There we a go. warm welcome to... Okay. Fuck, he come on! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that, come on, that was ridiculous. Come on! You don't even let me get one punch off. Yeah, 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 shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah. shut up. Yeah, I'll fight this group. Shut up. That's it, you're in for it! Come on. Uh. Come on. You ready? You're in for it. Am I though? Come on. Come on. You nearly got me, buddy. One more. You can you can do it. There we go. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. The lesson I hope you keep Archibald learning. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Looking for a rise. I already got one. All right. I got some crowns back. What'll it be? Watch what yourself. Ah, cards. Scoyatel, Milf Guardian, Scoyatel, Scoyatel. Alright, what can I sell to you? Stuff that I don't need. That, for example. Do I need all this bread? Let's see. Bread's not much use, so we'll get rid of that. 10 seconds, 25. I don't know what that was. Slightly torn notes. Okay. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Stuff that won't take up too much weight. I mean, that dried fish looks delicious. The shorter durations, I assume, mean that they're not as good, but maybe not. And I guess that's all we can really sell at the moment. I guess we could sell some of these old sheepskins. There's ladles, not too much use for me. Neither's the goat hides, so enjoy that. Pig hide. Got the pig hide iron.
And a rusty hammerhead, no, that's going to come in handy. I know how RPGs work. Alright, and one more hide, there we go. I should take care of things for a while. Farewell. I think my battery is about to die in my controller, that's probably what's going on. Well, that's nice. Can I get behind this place to see what what other missions going on here? Parkour. Tis a dog's life. You look like when it rains. There you go. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Maybe. Not quite. But what's it about? I hear right. You're going on some voyage. Need a companion. Not just some voyage. Cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either. A black one. The rarest and most precious. But she didn't. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Never. Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime. Really? You, see, you look fine. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Uh, sure. Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Yeah, I'll meet you Sounds there fine. sometime. See you there. Maybe. Or never. Your blade. Why not at your waist? Okay. Hmm. Uh, because they're long swords. Jeez. Okay, so gotta get to the nearest brothel and find Dandelion there. Another shady individual. But I never seem to get the chance to talk to these shady individuals. They don't seem to have anything to say. Uh. But ah! Hattori! You're the one! What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. Well, I here I am. I'm a witcher. You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? Well... I'm sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Uh, yeah. I do love dumplings. They sound great. I bet they're really good. Mmm. Tasty. I was right. Mm, I'm the smartest one around. Anything else I can do for you? Sword stuff? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? <laughs> good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Swiving? Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Okay, I'm excited by this. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Can I get one of those hats? Damn shame you don't make them anymore. 
I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. <laughs> but above all, it's much safer. Well, everyone Food needs to eat. Food rarely disappear or end up as cripples. Not everyone needs swords. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Oh god, do I have to play Gwent? In order to get this smith? Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. Lovely. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Was well, that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Hmm, that's a shame. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. <laughs> it's just... well... You miss it. I know, man. You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? As long as it doesn't involve Gwent. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. No problem. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. Ah, oh, good. I don't I'll know. need that. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. Whew! Nice. I must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Bit heavy for me. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. I'll meet you there at some point. Alright, when we return, I'm going to finish making my way to the Broken Flowers, Rosemary and Thyme brothel to meet Dandelion, and until then, all the best.